So starting with fold one, we have a diagonal plane and we're folding this top right triangle down into this triangle right here. In fold two, we have another diagonal plane and we're folding that bottom left triangle up into this triangle right here. In fold three, we have a horizontal plane and we're folding this paper that was left on the bottom half up into this trapezoid right here. And then we have one hole punch, so we can draw that hole punch on our previous folds. And we can see that it always ends up at least partly on paper, so we know it exists here in our grid. And now we'll work our way backwards. So when we undo fold three, the piece of paper that was initially folded up was this piece right here, folded up into this trapezoid. And since that green piece of paper that was folded includes our one pink hole punch, that needs to be reflected back down across that horizontal plane. And that green hole punch ends up on paper on fold two and on fold one. So if we draw that same horizontal plane from fold three in our grid and reflect that hole punch over, it ends up right here. Now we'll go ahead and undo fold two. So when we undo fold two, the piece of paper that was folded up is this triangle right there in light blue. And the way you can figure out what piece of paper was folded up in case you forgot is you can just draw that same diagonal plane from fold two right there in fold one. And you can see that this is the piece of paper that was folded up into this triangle right here. However, there are no hole punches that exist within that folded piece. So when you undo that fold, you're not going to add any hole punches because none exist in that folded section of paper. So we can move on to fold one. Now when we undo fold one, the piece of paper that was initially folded down is this triangle right here, was folded down into this triangle here. And it includes that one hole punch, but that hole punch exists on that fold line. So we're just going to be filling in that other half of the hole punch when we undo that fold. So if I drew that same diagonal plane in our grid, you can see how this hole punch, when we undo that fold, you'd just be filling in that other half. So we're not adding any new hole punches in fold one either. So that leaves this as our final pattern of hole punches, which matches up with answer choice A. So A is correct.